Masking canopies can make a world of difference in the final look of your airplane models. Edward and other companies offer mask sets for many of the models on the market today. But do you have to buy them to be able to mask your own canopies? Of course not. Welcome back to the Flying S Models channel. In this Quick Tips Pro Results video, I'll show you some simple techniques for masking and painting your model canopies and other clear parts. Here are the tools and materials you'll need. The canopy, of course, some Tamiya low-tack tape, a toothpick, and an X-Acto knife. Now, I could be lazy and use one of the Edward mask sets, but what would be the fun in that? The first step to masking your clear part is to apply the Tamiya low tack tape to the top side of the canopy. To help the tape wrap around the compound curves of the canopy, I use my knife to cut slits in the tape and then fold each section over. I burnish the tape down with my finger to get a good seal on the clear parts. I add the tape to the top of the canopy and again burnish it down. Finally, I add the tape to the other side, making the slits in the tape to allow it to better conform to the compound curves. With the top of the canopy mast, I use a toothpick to burnish the tape to the seam between the canopy and the canopy frame. I just run it along the edge to not only help make a better seal, but to allow me to see the seam line that I will need to cut. To make it easier to identify that seam line, I come back in with a mechanical pencil and run it along the same seams. Make sure that before you start cutting the canopy mask, you load up a fresh blade into your X-Acto knife. This next part is a little hard to video, so you'll have to excuse the crudeness of the shot. But what I'm trying to show is that to cut the canopy to frame seam, I like to hold the part up to an overhead light so I can clearly see the demarcation line between the canopy and the frame. Using that new blade, I carefully cut along the seam, moving very slowly so as not to go off the mark and cut the clear part. With the canopy to frame seam cut, I just peel away the tape from the framed portions. First the front of the canopy, and then the portions of the frame along the sides and back. Now if you want, you can repeat those steps for the inside of the canopy, but I'll show you a pretty simple solution to get a good result. When you spray that clear part, you don't want any overspray to get on the inside of the canopy, so just mask that area off using more of that Tamiya low tack tape. You can even make the tape overhang a little more than I did here to provide a handle of sorts for when you go to spray it. The first step in spraying the canopy is to determine what the inside color will be. For this demo, let's assume it's flat black. By laying this color down first, it will show up as the interior cockpit color when viewed from the inside. I airbrush that flat black along all the parts of the canopy frames. Even though I burnished those seams, I still mix up the paint a little thicker than usual just to make sure that I don't get any runs under the tape. For this demo, I'll assume that the outer frame color is olive drab, so I'll spray that on top of the flat black, again making sure the mix is not too thin. Before peeling that tape off, make sure that you weather and clear coat the outer frame to match the rest of your model. For this video, I'll just seal it in with a coat of AK's Ultra Matte Varnish. I just spray that varnish on pretty liberally and then let it dry. Once dry, or in this case near dry or dry enough, I simply remove the canopy masks.
I use an X-Acto knife to lift a corner and then with tweezers and later my fingers just pull the tape off one section at a time. If there is any tape residue left, it can easily be wiped off with a Q-tip soaked in Windex or alcohol. Just avoid the painted areas of the canopy frame. As you can see, the inside frame color is glossy given the fact that it's being viewed through the clear part. It's usually not too noticeable on the finished model, but I'll often come back in and paint the inside of the frame with a brush using Vallejo acrylics. So there you go a quick and easy method for masking and painting canopy frames or other clear parts. Make sure to subscribe and click the notifications bell to keep up with my latest video updates. We'll see you next time.